Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Hi, I'm Saus, an IT specialist and a proud member of the web development team. One of the most powerful tools in an ethical hacker's arsenal is Kali Linux, a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and security auditing. Kali Linux comes preloaded with a vast array of tools, from reconnaissance utilities to exploitation frameworks. This guide serves as a beginner's introduction to using Kali Linux for ethical hacking, providing a foundational understanding of the tools and techniques used to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in websites. It is paramount to emphasize that ethical hacking must always be conducted within the bounds of the law and with explicit permission from the website owner. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and can result in severe legal consequences. By understanding the techniques employed by hackers, we can better defend against their attacks and create a safer online environment. Before embarking on your journey into the world of ethical hacking, it's essential to set up a safe and controlled environment to practice your skills without jeopardizing any live systems. A virtual machine, or VM, is an ideal solution for this purpose, as it allows you to run Kali Linux as a guest operating system within your existing operating system. To get started, you'll need to download a virtualization software such as VirtualBox or VMware Workstation Player. Once installed, you can download the Kali Linux ISO image from the official Kali Linux website. When creating a new virtual machine, be sure to allocate sufficient resources such as RAM and hard disk space to ensure smooth operation of Kali Linux. Once the VM is created, you can boot from the downloaded ISO image and follow the on-screen instructions to install Kali Linux. With your Kali Linux virtual machine up and running, you've created a safe and isolated environment to hone your ethical hacking skills. As you progress through this guide, we'll delve deeper into specific tools and techniques for reconnaissance, vulnerability scanning, exploitation, and post-exploitation. Before launching any attacks, a skilled ethical hacker gathers as much information as possible about their target. This phase, known as reconnaissance, is crucial for understanding the website's structure, technologies used, and potential vulnerabilities. One of the first steps in reconnaissance is to gather basic information about the website, such as its IP address, domain name, and server information. Tools like HUIs can provide valuable details about the domain registrar, administrative contacts, and DNS records associated with the target domain. NSLOOKUP and DIG are other useful command line tools that allow you to query DNS servers and retrieve information about domain names, IP addresses, and other DNS records. Once you have a basic understanding of the website's infrastructure, you can use a port scanner like NMMAP to identify open ports and services running on the target server. NMAP is a powerful and versatile tool that can perform a variety of scans, from simple ping sweeps to more advanced techniques like operating system fingerprinting and service version detection. By analyzing the results of your reconnaissance efforts, you can gain valuable insights into the target website's attack surface and identify potential vulnerabilities. Following reconnaissance, the next step in ethical hacking is to identify specific vulnerabilities that can be exploited to gain unauthorized access to the target website. Vulnerability scanning involves using automated tools and manual techniques to probe the website for known weaknesses. Automated vulnerability scanners like Nikto and OpenVS can scan a website against a database of known vulnerabilities and report any potential security flaws. These tools automate the process of checking for common vulnerabilities, such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and outdated software versions. While automated scanners are invaluable for identifying known vulnerabilities, manual testing is equally important for uncovering unique security flaws specific to the target website. Manual techniques often involve analyzing the website's source code, intercepting and modifying HTTP requests, and testing for common web application vulnerabilities. By combining automated vulnerability scanning with manual testing, ethical hackers can gain a comprehensive understanding of the security posture of the target website. This approach helps identify vulnerabilities that can be exploited in later stages of the ethical hacking process. Section 5. Exploitation, Breaching the Defenses once vulnerabilities have been identified through reconnaissance and scanning, the next step is to exploit these weaknesses to gain unauthorized access to the target system. 
Exploitation is the art of leveraging vulnerabilities to bypass security mechanisms and gain control of a system. Metasploit Framework is a powerful open source platform for developing and executing exploit code against a range of systems, including web applications. It provides a vast library of exploits, payloads, and auxiliary modules that can be used to target specific vulnerabilities. To use Metasploit, you would first need to select an exploit that targets the identified vulnerability. The exploit code would then be configured with the target system's details, such as the IP address, port number, and any required parameters. Once the exploit is configured, a payload would be selected. A payload is a piece of code that runs on the target system after the exploit has been successful. Ethical hackers use exploitation techniques to identify and demonstrate vulnerabilities in a controlled environment so that they can be remediated before malicious actors can exploit them. Section 6. Post-Exploitation Navigating the compromised system After successfully exploiting a vulnerability, an attacker's objective often extends beyond merely gaining access. The post-exploitation phase involves navigating the compromised system, escalating privileges, maintaining persistence and potentially exfiltrating sensitive data. Once an attacker has gained a foothold on a system, they may attempt to elevate their privileges to gain administrative control. This could involve exploiting vulnerabilities in the operating system or applications running on the system. With administrative privileges, an attacker has complete control over the compromised system and can install malware, steal data, or disrupt operations. Maintaining persistence is another crucial aspect of post-exploitation. Attackers often install backdoors or create rogue user accounts to ensure continued access to the compromised system. Data exfiltration involves stealing sensitive information from the compromised system. Attackers may target databases, file servers, or other repositories of valuable data. Understanding post-exploitation techniques is essential for defenders to effectively detect and respond to attacks. Section 7. Covering your tracks, evading detection. In the realm of cyber attacks, attackers often go to great lengths to conceal their activities, erase their digital footprints, and evade detection. This process, known as covering tracks, is a critical aspect of maintaining stealth and prolonging unauthorized access to compromised systems. Attackers may modify or delete log files, which serve as digital records of system events, to erase evidence of their presence. By tampering with log data, they can make it difficult for system administrators to investigate and respond to security incidents effectively. Rootkits, a sophisticated type of malware, can burrow deep into the operating system kernel, providing attackers with privileged access and the ability to conceal their presence from security software. Using steganography, attackers can hide malicious code or data within seemingly innocuous files, such as images, audio files, or text documents. Understanding the techniques attackers use to cover their tracks is vital for cybersecurity professionals. Section 8. Protecting Against Attacks Best Practices for Website Security in the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, protecting websites from malicious actors requires a multifaceted approach, encompassing robust security practices, continuous monitoring, and proactive vulnerability management. One of the foundational pillars of website security is input validation, which involves scrutinizing and sanitizing all user-supplied data before processing it. By enforcing strict data validation rules, websites can prevent a wide range of attacks, including SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and command injection. Strong passwords and access controls are paramount to safeguarding sensitive information and restricting unauthorized access to critical systems. Regularly updating software, including operating systems, web servers, and applications, is crucial for patching known vulnerabilities and mitigating security risks. By embracing a proactive security posture, organizations can significantly reduce their attack surface and enhance their resilience against cyber threats. Section 9. Conclusion. The importance of ethical hacking and continued learning. In conclusion, ethical hacking plays a pivotal role in today's digital landscape by identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. Aspiring ethical hackers can leverage powerful tools like Kali Linux to conduct responsible security assessments and strengthen the security posture of websites and applications. This guide has provided a foundational understanding of ethical hacking principles, covering reconnaissance, vulnerability scanning, exploitation, post-exploitation, and techniques for covering tracks. The field of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, 
with new threats and vulnerabilities emerging regularly. Continued learning, staying abreast of the latest security trends, and honing your skills through practice are essential for success as an ethical hacker. By embracing a mindset of continuous improvement, ethical hackers can make a significant contribution to creating a safer and more secure digital world.